This video will discuss the basic steps that must be followed to submit an invoice to your broker using ePay Manager. After logging in, you can view new transactions by going to the menu and clicking Receivables Pending. Any transactions that require your attention will be displayed on this list. If there are no transactions on the list, it's because your broker has not yet created the transaction in ePay. In most cases, brokers post their loads to ePay within two days of delivery. If it's been more than two days and your load is not posted, you should contact your broker to find out why it's been delayed. If you're a carrier that factors invoices, you will not manage any transactions in ePay. Instead, your factor will manage them for you in their ePay account. To view an invoice and submit documents, click the I icon in the Keys column. If an X appears instead of an I, it means you've already accepted the invoice, but it was rejected by your broker. When an invoice is rejected, the broker's reason is explained in the audit trail, which can be viewed by clicking the transaction's reference number. When you click the I or X icon, ePay will display the invoice along with the steps you must follow to receive payment. This tutorial explains all the steps your broker may require you to complete. However, in many instances, you will only need to upload your document and click Accept. The first step is required by most ePay brokers. It requires carriers to submit their delivery documents to ePay by clicking a button to either upload, fax, or email their documents. All methods will send the documents to ePay where they will be linked to the invoice for the broker to review. Once your documents have been submitted, you must return to the invoice and complete the remaining required steps. The next step is optional. It allows you to change your payment terms if your broker has early payment options. To view available options, click Change Payment Terms. Each option has a discount amount and payment date. Choose the one that meets your cash flow needs. Then click Save and ePay will update the invoice's amount and payment date. Next, if you believe any of the proposed amounts are incorrect, or if you need to add a new charge, you can request a change by clicking here. This page lists the current charges approved by your broker. Click Edit to request a new amount for any existing line item. Click Add to add a new line item. For each disputed amount, you must enter the new amount you want your broker to consider. When requesting a change, you must add a note to explain why you believe the additional amounts you're requesting are valid. After entering the note, click Continue to review and then submit the changes. After you submit the change request, the transaction will move from your pending to your disputed list, where it will remain until your broker resolves the dispute. The next step is also optional, but some brokers may require it. It allows you to add your own reference number to the transaction. Once a number is added, it will be included in the remittance email you receive, and it will be searchable in ePay. The final step is to click the Accept Invoice button. Clicking this button confirms that you agree with a broker's payment amount and date, and it sets the current date as the invoice date. It also moves the transaction from your pending to your invoiced list. This transition confirms the invoice has been submitted. At this point, your work is complete. The accepted invoice has been sent to your broker who will review the documents you submitted and approve the invoice for payment. On the invoiced list, a P icon appears in the Keys column when the documents you submitted are received. You can also view your expected payment date on the list. When your invoice is approved, you will be notified by email and the transaction will move to your approved list where it will remain until it's paid. On the payment date, the transaction will move to your paid list and you'll be notified by email that a direct deposit has been made into your bank account. However, in some cases, your broker may send you a check. Each transaction is stored in ePay for a minimum of five years. To find transactions, you may search ePay's database by using ePay's reference number search tool or the report generator. Once a transaction is located, you can click on its reference number to view its details and audit history. ePay was designed to give carriers complete access to their broker's settlement process at any transaction status in order to give them greater control over their cash flow.
If you have questions, please send an email to service at epaymanager.com or call us at 800-240-1824 to speak to a customer service representative.